My name is Chase, and today we're going to be talking about electromagnetic radiation. And along with that comes the electromagnetic spectrum. Now first off, we have to talk about what is electromagnetic radiation, or just radiation in general. Electromagnetic radiation is just a wave. And there are two types of waves. There are mechanical waves, and then there are electromagnetic waves. Now here's the difference between the two of them. Mechanical waves need a medium to travel through, whereas electromagnetic waves don't need a medium. They can travel through the vacuum of space. An example of a mechanical wave is sound. Now, sound needs a medium to travel through. Now, of course, right now you're hearing me because it is a medium of air that is traveling to your ears, and it needs that medium, whereas electromagnetic waves don't need that. Now, there are many types of electromagnetic radiation, and this is shown in the electromagnetic spectrum. So in the electromagnetic spectrum, we have seven kinds of radiation. Now, first off, we have radio waves, we have microwaves, we have infrared rays, we have visible lights, we have ultraviolet or UV rays, we have X-rays, and finally, we have gamma rays. Now, before we get into the specifics of all of the different kinds of EM radiation, let's talk about what varies them. Now, the two things that determine these are frequency and wavelength. Frequency simply just means how often a wave will occur in a specific amount of time. So as we can see here, this has a very low frequency. In this one second period, it's only occurring about one and a half times. And now as we can see here, this has a very high frequency because it's happening a lot. And wavelength is simply just the length of the wave. Now as you can see here for wavelength, the distance between the wave is great, and here it's very tiny. Now wavelength and frequency go hand in hand. The longer the wavelength, the lower the frequency. Also, the higher the frequency, the lower the wavelength. The way that I like to think of it is radio waves, the longest and the lowest. This means that they will have the longest wavelength and it will have the lowest frequency. That means that in a given second, it, it only happens maybe like this. So we can go all the way from radio waves where the wavelength is super long and it doesn't happen very often, all the way down to gamma rays, which happen very quickly and their wavelengths are very, very short. Now, also this means that gamma rays will have a lot more energy than radio waves or visible light will have a lot more energy than infrared. With a higher frequency, this means that there's a lot of energy compacted into a small area, where with radio, it's spread out. This also makes gamma rays a lot more dangerous than radio waves. Now let's go step by step with all of the different types of radiation. So as you can see, with radio waves, it's very useful for communication as in the radio, because it travels very far distances. It can travel up to like 90 kilometers, so that means that you can broadcast your signal very far. Microwaves are, well, in a microwave. And what they do is you have your food and they hammer it with uh, energy and that excites the water molecules heating up your food. Now, infrared light is used a lot in night vision goggle systems. Here we have our night vision goggles and then there's a person and that person gives off IR light from heat. And as we can see, they're glowing right on there, and we can see right where they are. This is also the same with vehicles, as vehicles will be warm if they were just recently used. Now let's talk about visible light. Now visible light for humans might be the most important, because that's what we can actually detect with our eyes. Visible light also has a very narrow field in the EM spectrum. And then from there, of course, we can interpret it as multiple colors. We got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Now our eyes can individually pick up these colors. Next, let's talk about ultraviolet or UV rays. Now, ultraviolet rays are emitted by the sun. Now, if you're at the beach getting a nice tan and all of a sudden your skin starts to get red and all sunburnt, you can thank UV rays for that. UV rays shower your skin, and that can even cause mutations in your cells. And when you're wearing your cool shades, your eyes are being protected from those UV rays. Now, notoriously, x-rays are used at the doctors for 
x-rays because what will happen is the x-rays will go straight through your soft tissue like your skin and it will be absorbed by your bones that means that you can see if a bone is broken or if you have any sort of other foreign object inside of your body finally we have gamma rays now gamma rays are the most energetic and they are actually emitted from <laughs> So now we know that electromagnetic radiation is just a wave that does not need a medium to travel through. We also know that there are seven different kinds of electromagnetic radiation. And they're all determined by their wavelength and their frequency. Thank you.